Right, so a lot of people talk about data and they think about testing, but really there are, there's a sort of three-part criterion. If you want to hit a particular number, a KPI, let's call it a number of subscribers, or it could be called a number of leads, quote unquote. I don't like the word, but you, you know what I mean. It could be uh, a number in terms of e-commerce, uh, a number of uh, units sold. Behind that, in a testing program and in the analysis of data, you sort of have to embrace this simple, plain English uh, heuristic. It's backed by lots of science, but the heuristic, the plain English equation is this. You must discover the right problem. You must develop the right hypothesis. And you must test at the right velocity. The value of data is that it helps you discover exactly where to focus, and data's true value can be understood in one context. How does it help you predict customer behavior? In, in this world where we're overcome with silos of data, in fact, we constantly talk about big data and we're not even doing the right things with our small data. We talk about personalization and we haven't got segmentation right. Data should be disciplined so that it doesn't tell you how much, it helps you discern why. And in doing so, its power is exactly its predictive power. And its predictive power is valuable when you focus it deeply on the right place. For instance, it may be at this specific juncture in your funnel that if conversion rate were to go up X percent, you could hit your numbers for the year. So in this way, we force ourselves to fit data to a disciplined criteria that allows us to predict behavior and then focus our efforts. In the end, the only reason we win is because not just that we're doing things right, but because we're doing the right things. Data first answers to that criteria before it tells you about doing it.